There we go. All right. Okay. Well, uh, if you would please take your uh, little outlines, and uh, uh, we've got some announcements there. Uh, let me get a couple of extra ones off the uh, off my menu here. Uh, no pun intended. Um, the shared harvest and the Lebanon food store, with cooperation with the National Guard will be at the fairgrounds this coming Saturday to distribute food. Uh, Mary, I think it starts at 10. All right. Oh, and for, 10 to 12. All right. So from 10 to 12 at the Warren County Fairgrounds this coming Saturday, a food distribution. If you know someone that could take advantage of that, uh, then there's no way to call. There's no way to uh, reserve a spot. So... Um, Okay. All right, good. Good. So anybody listening to us, um, uh, this coming Saturday, which somebody helped me, is the 19th. Am I right? Yes. Good. Uh, from 10 to 12, food distribution, Warren County Fairgrounds. Um, go and participate. There's no way to put a reservation in. Uh, I believe that in the pews are offering envelopes for MMRO. Does anybody know what that stands for? All right, Retired Missionaries and Ministers Offering. Now, I'm telling you, this year I don't get to take advantage of that, but maybe in a year or two I will we'll be getting a Christmas gift from this offering, okay, when I'm really retired, okay? I'm tired. All right, never mind, okay? Um, so, but uh, this goes to our retired ministers and missionaries, uh, and it goes for a Christmas gift, but it also is a fund that if there's an emergency that a retired pastor and his family uh, cannot take care of some kind of a financial need, they can request money from that fund. So um, it goes to take care of our uh, our preachers and missionaries, etc. cetera, okay? Um, probably till the end of the year. Probably to the end of the year. Okay, Michael Ann? Um, okay, so those two are off my plate. All right, so let's look at the others. Uh, we won't be having midweek service until further notice. Uh, we are going to do a podcast for Christmas Eve. Ooh, ah, say ooh, ah. All right, now, um, unfortunately, there will be a camera set up in my front room uh, with my fireplace behind me. And uh, we're, you're going to have to look at my ugly face if you see the, the podcast on the website. So I am sorry, okay? Um, nobody's laughing. Uh, uh, okay, all right. Um, so, uh, but we're going to try to do um, not only an audio but a visual uh, for the podcast on Christmas Eve. And we're going to try to get it done early in the day so you could, you could watch it. Now, here comes a plus for you all. If you would like to add a message, a comment to that podcast, get with Mike because you can record one and he would include it in that podcast. Can you imagine? Whilst all of us are uh, with our families or social distancing or whatever you want to call it, all right? So, um, so get with Mike if you want to put a, a message uh, in there somewhere. All right, uh, turkeys. Uh, there are seven turkeys in the freezer here. There are two turkeys at the Tufts house. I'm not talking about Lynn and Steve. Uh, there are two at Margie's house. Um, we need to divvy up 11 turkeys today. Take them home, bake them, debone them, bag them up, and refrigerate them, whatever. But uh, come next Sunday, we're going to meet at the church at 3 o'clock to take food out to the campground, the trailer park out beyond Clarksville, and we're going to Christmas carol and distribute food at the same time out there, all right? So that's next Sunday at 3 o'clock. So um, if you need help deboning a chicken, a uh, chicken, a turkey, 
uh, raise your hand. All right, Dakota can do it real well. So Dakota is volunteering um, to debone your turkey after you cook it. But what we need to do, and let me help you understand this, um, out at the trailer park, the campground, no one has an oven big enough to bake a turkey. So, so we're going to cook them up and baggy them up for them. All right. Uh, so, um, but we need to divvy them all up. Okay. Um, and we'll do Christmas caroling. Uh, we found the Christmas carol books from last year. Hip hip. Yay. All right. Okay. Uh, Kylie, you can get a, a, a little crowd, a small crowd of kids with us. All right. Okay. And I offered to feed them if they come. <sighs> okay. All right. Okay, so uh, that's all next Sunday, and we'll meet back here at 3 o'clock. I'm going to invite you that when we're congregating to wear your mask, and we'll try to stay away from each other. But my intention is for us to walk through the campground trailer park and so uh, and singing while we go, okay? So uh, I think we'll have a, a good time with that. Um, budget request. Vicki asked that if you're on a committee or a board and you need to... Well, you need to get with her anyway in terms of uh, the budget for 2021. So feed her information as to whether or not your crowd needs the same amount of money for next year, more money, less money, okay? And we're going to try to have the annual church business meeting on January the 10th. And that's a Sunday after church, and I know that's not Super Bowl Sunday. I just, I know that's not, okay? Uh, I haven't heard when it is, but I know it's not. Um, okay, I'm looking here, and I think I've covered all the, my little scribbling. Uh, anybody else have an announcement? All right, good. Okay, Michael? I've been trying to get things worked out at my work with um, the new employees. I did get it worked out starting in January. I can start coming to Bible study on Wednesday night. All right. But I'm still trying to get it figured out to do the Women's Fellowship. I just wondered if any of the women are open to maybe a Friday late afternoon, or are they open to a Sunday afternoon after church? Okay. Just trying to figure out how we can get this going back again. I do want to get this going back again, and we are going to start a Bible study in the Women's Fellowship, so any feedback would be awesome. All righty, good. So if you're listening to us on the podcast or out in the parking lot, Women's Ministry, see Michael Ann. Uh, we want to get that restarted sometime in January, but uh, unclear as to day or time. So feed some information to her as to your availability and when that might work. Good? All righty. Um, if that's all said and done then, uh, got any birthdays coming up this week? All right. Any anniversaries coming up this week? All right. Oh, really? Yeah. Mike, when's your anniversary? 17th. The 17th. Uh, I'm afraid to ask how many years. 21. You know that for a fact. Yeah. All right. You're not guessing. No. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. Well, happy anniversary to you too, okay? Uh, if that is all that we need to do there, then why don't we get our hymn books and let's sing another one. And Sage said this was her favorite one. Didn't you tell me that, Sage? Go tell it on the mountain. Okay, all right, all right. She told me that earlier. So it's number 258, Go Tell It on the Mountain. And uh, if you have tithes, offerings, please bring them, put them in the offering plate. And Corbin, there are buckets back there still, I think. If you'll run through the parking lot and uh, pretend like you're trick-or-treating, all right? Okay. Number 258, go tell it on the mountain. <laughs> go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. While shepherds kept their watching, or silent flocks by night. Behold, throughout the heavens there shone a holy light. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain, 
that Jesus Christ is born. The shepherds feared and trembled when low above the earth rang out the angel chorus that hailed our Savior's birth. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Down in the lowly manger, the humble Christ was born and brought us God's salvation that blessed Christmas morn. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Boy, that is a pretty song, isn't it? All righty. And we'll finish our service tonight, or tonight. Did I say tonight? It'll be a long one. All right, all right, it'll be a long one. All right. Um, uh, but we'll finish it with Silent Night, as you can see. I love that song, too. All right. Well, you can be seated. And uh, I'm going to invite you again uh, to take a look at our outline and what we uh, put out there. Sometime or another, we'll go back to normal bulletins. But uh, for the time being, that this is working for the preacher pretty well. And. I hope it's working for you all pretty well. Um, um, but let's take a look at our prayer needs. And um, Jim's here with us. Give Jim a hand. All right. And uh, Joanne had some good results. She's out in the parking lot. Give us a toot on the horn. Are they out there? Oh, okay. Well, they'll, they'll have to blow real loud to hear from where they are then. But Joanne had some good results with her uh, heart procedure, and now she's waiting to uh, get a, uh, her back surgery scheduled. Um, uh, Phil is doing well. Debbie's back to work. Uh, things are happening okay with the Banks family. Uh, Bill Logan Smith uh, is going to be having his surgery this week. This, that's right, the 18th, right? Okay, uh, so he has his leg surgery. Um, and you can see some others there. Christy, any word about Dennis? Uh, uh, Harold? Still touch and go. Wow. Okay. He called his wife in several times thinking he wouldn't make it through the night. Wow. And he did. Wow. Still, he's in about, about the same shape. All righty. Um, uh, let's see. Um, we've got here. Uh, Bunny uh, asked me to uh, put the... Myron Wood family on the prayer list. Uh, Bunny graduated from high school with Myron's wife, uh, but he passed away this week, so keep that family uh, in your prayers. Obviously, let's keep uh, the nursing homes in our prayers, um, and as we've done before, I understand that the Pfizer company already has the vaccine out and around, spread out all over the country, uh, ready for uh, vaccinating people. Um, uh, at starting tomorrow, so uh, so it's 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 moving. So uh, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, anyone else? Uh, yes, Vicky. If you could put my brother Dwayne on the list, he was diagnosed with COVID on Monday. They um, didn't put him in the hospital. They sent him home with an inhaler, antibiotics, he said test oxygen, but he's doing a lot better. Good. He went through the. He still has a cough and his breathing's a little hard, but he's gone through the virus part of it, so he's on the upside, hopefully. Good, good. Uh, we were talking to Joe Farmer. I was texting him. Everyone in his family has had it. Wow. Um, I don't know if some of you might remember Joe. Joe's come on Wednesday nights before, but um, Joe worked with Billy Watson at GE. Uh, so, but anyway, but his whole family has had it, and they're all getting over it. So, um, strange and weird times, isn't it? So, best we can do is the best we can do, right? Shell? I want to, um, I do have a phrase. My aunt Vaughn had COVID. She has it, and it was just like a mild flu. It barely bothered her, and so that's, you know, a prayer answered. So. Amen. Good. Amen. That's right. So, well, let's bow our hearts and our heads together, okay? Yes. Yep. Yeah.